these network meetings are very important because they bring together people who've got a shared interest in the science of hydration and in the communication of that science to the health professionals and the consumers who need that knowledge. So bringing people together to share ideas, to share experiences, to reassess what we know, to reevaluate the things we believe, crucially important. Adequate hydration is important for everybody. If we are not adequately hydrated, we won't function properly. Defining adequate hydration, of course, is difficult. And there are some special groups who face particular challenges. And one of those groups is the elderly. Several factors contribute to that. For older people, the thirst mechanism doesn't work terribly well, so they may become dehydrated because the thirst stimulus doesn't encourage them to drink. But they may also find it difficult to reach drinks because of limited mobility. They may not want to drink because of difficulty in going to the toilet. They may be taking medications that cause them to become dehydrated. So many factors conspire to make it difficult for older people to stay well hydrated. And we discussed some of those issues this morning. Brilliant.